graybeard here fixing to find out what that roller boss did and uh see what else we might need to do later on but yeah let's get this ride going oh yeah before we get started please like this uh video and uh subscribe and share with all your friends if i can see there we go i think yeah and you'll probably notice my camera's a little more upright so uh, even though that was a gopro mount thingy you know bracket whatever you want to call it that you mount the axle protector case or whatever you want to call it to the camera it was a different style so i grabbed the uh bracket off my new one and it gives it a more upright position so it ain't pointing down and it's pointing more out now it's kind of windy so there's probably going to be a little more wind noise on this video Hopefully it won't be too bad. We're already doing 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can easily do 35. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Don't have any more pickup, so it really didn't affect that. That I can tell anyway. <coughs> Yeah, I think we just need a little more oomph. Better carburetor, bigger jets, and a free flow and exhaust. We can uh, toy with these hills. I may not need to, uh, what you call it, de restrict the, uh, you know, take out the rev limiter. I'm glad this bridge is back open. Makes things a little easier. Yeah, we're on a weekday, so uh, traffic's a little more busy. Yeah, I'm on vacation this week. That's why you've already seen uh, two videos, and here's another one. Again, I uh, didn't start the video in my driveway because I wanted to shorten it because I only had like 40% battery. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, the high today is only supposed to be 60 and I'm in the shade here. We might be 55 at the most. Look at that. I'm going uphill at 31. Was. <coughs> yeah, this is where we need more power. If I had a little more power, we'd be going on up to 35, 36 again. But 
but I'll take this on this road here. There's only 25 through here anyway. Here goes climbing again, 33. Yeah. I'd say bang for your buck. The roller boss is probably one of your best upgrades. <laughs> like I say, it doesn't affect your uh, uh, doesn't affect your uh, RPM. So you still got your rev limiter. So you're not going to go over a certain RPM. I'm assuming around five grand. Rev limiter will let you go up to at least six. And a lot of people say it'll cause extra wear and tear on the motor. I don't know. I'm still thinking about doing it, but <clears throat> before I do that, I'm going to uh, focus more on the uh, carb jetting and uh, airflow. Give us a little more up so we can make it up over his heels. That's, that's more important to me. And... Uh, I'm just happy this thing will do 35. Very happy. It's friggin' awesome. Assuming around 21 at the top. This may not look that steep, but it is. Yep, 21 at the top. This is awesome. This is what this thing should have done out of the box. <clears throat> like I say, and back in the day when I was about 160, 165 pounds, and uh, six, well, I think I was 15 when I got it. Yeah. I got a, uh, back in the late 80s, <laughs> I got a Honda Elite. It was a two stroke. Uh, didn't know nothing about motors or nothing at the time. Otherwise, I'd have probably been modding it. But anyways, uh, yeah, out of the box on a flat, it would do close to 40. And I know it was restricted too. They all are. That's why people always do mods. <clears throat> it's a pretty grass over to the right. Like I say, we're going uphill right now. I don't know if it'll hit 30 because it's getting steeper right now. Nope. Yeah, that wind's got a little, little bit of a chill to it. Yeah, we got a little cold, cold front coming through. Yeah, it wasn't a 62 or 63 yesterday. Burr. Yeah, uh, next couple of days or so, it's supposed to get back up in the 70s. put my gloves on <clears throat> dirty dirty 
didn't used to do that until we was going downhill. Yeah, where this thing don't have a whole lot of horsepower, once you get up to 30, it uh, unless you're going downhill, it doesn't, you know, it picks up really slow. And like I say, that's why I want to rectify the uh, power part before I would RPM. Let's pull over here. Burr. Yeah, I don't know what the temps is, where you're all at, but uh, like I say, I want to say the the high was only supposed to be like 57, something like that. My better half said she heard 60, but I don't know. I wouldn't be this chilly if it was, yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Much better. I noticed here lately this thing's been idling down a lot more lately, like it should be. So maybe that's part of the break-in thing. <laughs> maybe the car also needed broke in. 30, 31, 32, it's going uphill now, so it'll probably go down. Yeah. But it gives you a little head start on the hills. <clears throat> Here in just a minute, we should start seeing 35, 36 again on the other side of this hill. Yeah, this is why we need power. Now I'm thinking if I change the oil, uh, it might help it out a little bit too because it's it's about due we're at 270 kilometers now and i plan to change the gear oil as well here we go Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. thinking 37 is it but that's good it's a lot better than it was a lot <clears throat> that wasn't a steep hill so if we get a steeper hill <laughs> might even see 38 39 40 I don't I couldn't tell if it was hitting the rev with all this wind noise going through my ears. Yeah, it looked like it was going downhill. But I don't think we were. I think we're actually still slightly uphill. And now it's getting steeper. But I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. It works just like it always does. It's just uh, the gearing is unrestricted. Awesome. It's friggin' awesome. Let's go 
gonna go downhill some more. Going downhill though. We're gonna keep on going. We're going. I was thinking about stopping at the park, but need to kind of cut the video short. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Thirty-four right here, and it's slightly uphill. It's getting a little steeper now. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Now we just need more power. We'll do that too. Yeah, it's awesome. Grandpa, the pretty truck. Yeah, we need more. Ugh. Yes, yes, I'm very, very uh, happy with this mod. For one, it doesn't affect the rev limit, and you gain. Well, we gained at least, I'm gonna say 30, well, let's say 32 top speed going downhill. And we saw 39, that's seven uh, mile per hour bump. Right here, we're already doing 35, 36. It's slightly downhill, but not much. 37, if I tuck in a little bit, might get a little more. That's awesome. This is almost flat. That is awesome. Very happy. Like I said, I spent about $17 and something shipped to the door to get the roller boss. And I got it with the whole variator. This guy's doing 35 and it's a 25 zone, 36. they was doing something here they paved over it yeah we just need to start getting some uh, more power Chili 
right through here with all this shade. Okay, dang. Yeah, if I was a lot smaller, <laughs> at least a lot lighter, it's like I say, I'm about 220. Tuck in a little bit, 35. Six. And that was slightly downhill, but not by much. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I'd say this is probably the safest mod if you're worried about uh, affecting the uh, rev limiter and stuff like that do this and you'll get at least six seven mile per hour increase I was here in three to five and I'm glad it was wrong I'm glad it was more like six seven I'm gonna go with seven was going downhill because I went down that hill before and it topped out at 32. It wouldn't let it go any faster. Well, going downhill just then, and I think it was due to lack of power, we would have probably hit 40 had this uh, thing had a little more HPs. Go by the Dairy Queen. Go by the Dairy Queen. I can tell if it's open. Yeah, I guess it is open. I was hoping it wasn't shut down. A lot of businesses are shutting down because of this COVID crap. Something I really hate to see. Even though that's a, a big chain. But we still don't like to see businesses shut down due to you know, the fact that it causes people to lose jobs. <laughs> change of mind I was going to go straight but then I decided to go up over here yeah very happy with this mod Skirt. We're still filming. I can't tell. I hope we are. Go ahead. <laughs> they need to swing out because that car is so daggone huge, I guess. Got freaking 15 feet between me and the curb, and they couldn't get through there without swinging out. I'd be catching a lot less wind if I wasn't wearing a jacket, too.
out of people's way. That's why we need more power. We can go the speed limit now. We just need more power to do it. Yeah, that noise you hear is uh, straight ahead. You can probably see it in the, through the trees. There's uh, some kind of construction going on on the railroad tracks. They take real good care of the railroad tracks around here. This is a major hub. If you go to the downtown Bluefield area, Bluefield, West Virginia, uh, there's tons of tracks and uh, it's like big old train station there, big train station. That's what uh, made this city uh, grow. It's only about, like I could say, about 10 and a half to 11,000 or so people now. But at one time they had like 65,000 back in the 20s and 30s and 40s. Yeah. Boom, 35. Get a little more up and uh be able to hop over these hills real easy thank god uh, yep yeah, i know i did fast up part where i go over the hill to remember where I'm at. Okay. Let's pull over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Just glad to show y'all the results there we go Let's see if I can get this out of the holder real easy yeah, we're still filming I need to hurry up and cut it off because it's 29 minutes almost <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please hit the like button subscribe and share thank you